Now, South Africa will go into the third rugby test against Ireland in Port Elizabeth with a good blend of experience and remarkably talented, inexperienced players in the starting 15 and on the bench. The starts of the second half last uh, weekend, right wing Ruan Combrink and eighthman Warren Whiteley will start a test match for the first time, while loose head prop Stephen Kitsoff and Lions flank Jako Kriel are the uncapped players on the bench. Three of the four changes to the match day squad were forced through injury. At the box have been hard at work doing intensive physical training and fine tuning the asset pieces. Kutse says his charges will have to attack from the word go and neutralize Ireland tactical kicking game. But I've always said where I can make a tactical change that would benefit the team, I'll do that. Bringing Ron Combrink, Combrink into the side gives us another right-footed kicker, which we don't have with Faf Elton and Valila Rue at the back. And, uh, you know, it's not it's noted to see that Ireland has been kicking down that left touchline and that left inside. So Combrin gives us that right foot opportunity and secondly brings us uh, an additional goal kicker from, from 50 metres out. Loose head prop Kitsov has come close to being selected for the box. On Saturday he'll have an opportunity to prove that he can make a difference. I've uh, had a, sh a, st a short time in France but I think it's it, I've learned a lot in the scrums and I think it can benefit especially when it comes to scrum time bringing physicality and, and experience. For the Taurus, CJ Stander returns to the team after serving his suspension. Island coach Joe Schmidt has in total made five changes and one personal switch to the team. I'm utterly confident that, that They'll, they'll make me and themselves proud. They'll make sure that uh, Ireland feel proud of them because that, that's the way they commit to the, going about their work. And I've no doubt that that will be no different than it has been in the last two tests. Yes, you know, it's been a really long season. Kick-off in Port Elizabeth is at 5 p.m. on Saturday. Zolani Moya, SABC News, Port Elizabeth.